ladies and gentlemen let's try to understand why the war on drugs was waged right we understand that the government of each and every country is here to promote the welfare of the state and to ensure smooth functioning of the state right there are three reasons according to me why the war of drug war on drugs was waged firstly there was an illicit drug market which was coming up which was run by cartels now these cartels need to promote violence uh, these cartels promoted violence uh, in in the uh, economy because they had certain drug gangs which they had to deal through to uh, get their cartel procuring drugs at a lower price and selling at a higher price and ma maintaining that competitive spirit for that they had to recruit uh, certain drug traffickers right so that was something that the government was looking to avoid the building up of an illicit drug market which was run by cartels the second reason was that the that the vulnerable uh, part of the society was being pulled into this drug trafficking uh, scenario that was uh, going on in the country the the vulnerable society uh, uh, section of the society uh, are poor and they need some source of li livelihood something which doesn't require education and something which they could have easy access to was was en entering this uh, uh, business of drug trafficking so this was the uh, this was something the government was looking to avoid the the third reason why the war on drugs was waged because the because the uh, state wanted to avoid prog problematic drug use which would lead to addiction or overdose age so for these three reasons the war on drugs was waged but when in, when it initially started what the government majorly aimed for was a drug free world that's what it had envisaged when it when the war on drugs began but gradually over the years we realized that the a, a drug free world is impossible because of a number of global and local uh, complexities drugs have permeated lives on a global scale uh, on on a global scale and it's it's really we are at a stage where completely eradicating the impact of drugs on our lives is is not really possible so according to me uh, at at this stage where the war on drugs has already progressed and drugs has already permeated our lives a lot the a metric should be there which which would measure the success of the war on drugs on the basis of how how much harm we can actually minimize through this war on drugs by minimizing harm i mean minimizing the uh, by i mean maximizing the welfare of the state and ensuring that every citizen leads a life which is healthy which is and he and he contributes to the economy in a sustainable manner now i have been given two options to decide which which uh, metric is the best one is it the decrease in the drug production and consumption or is it in the decrease uh, decrease in uh, death de uh, de in the death toll according to me uh, the decrease in the dr drug production and uh, consumption is is not really a stable metric to measure uh, the success of the war on drugs uh, for example if if you consider consumption of drugs there there are a number of reasons why it may actually rise and uh, uh, why it may uh, why it may have actually risen but uh, you may think of it as a failure of the war on drugs but it might not necessarily be be, be the issue so we know that uh, the continents of africa and asia are the ones whose population is increasing the most if the population is increasing the most then probably uh, so will consumption and if you're measuring uh, the increase in consumption is a negative thing then that may not necessarily be the case secondly we are, we are, we are understanding that drugs for recreational use have that the rate of drugs being used for recreational purposes has been increasing has been increasing massively and this is not necessarily a bad thing to happen right so in this case to consumption will rise but that may not be a bad thing to happen thirdly we understand that the uh, world is migrating to a uh, a state where we are using harm reduction techniques to uh, co counter uh, the problem of drugs so in those techniques a lot of therapies you actually use drugs for example opioid substitution treatments or and uh, needle syringe exchange programs so we are actively encouraging uh, uh, drug use through those manners although in a, a way where we are trying to minimize the harms of course so e even that may lead to consumption but it may not necessarily be the worst of things to happen production too i think is is not the best metric uh, to judge if the war on drugs is going the right way or not uh, as the population rises the demand rises and of course so ha and so to uh, ensure the economics of equilibrium production will have to rise right secondly there is more research and innovation happening uh, in in today's day and age uh, for uh, for the 
for medical innovation in, uh, through the use of drug plants. So uh, for that case, to drug uh, drug production will rise, and uh, it may not necessarily be a bad thing. Now I'd like to tell you why why the decrease in death rate does ensure that uh, the war on uh, drugs is going the right way. Firstly, we uh, we need to minim uh, the the state has to minimize the number of deaths due to addictions or due to overdoses. When when you see the death rate, that automatically uh, that the death toll that automatically reflects what you were hoping for. Uh, the, an, another aim to uh, ensure that the war on drugs was successful was uh, decreasing the impact of cartels. So if we are ensuring that the that deaths due to violence of cartels is minimized, then you probably have a good measure to say that the war on drugs is going the right way. Thirdly, if we have uh, deaths due to uh, the bad quality of drugs going the wrong way, then we can probably say that the illicit drug market uh, is uh, that the impact of the illicit drug market is reducing because they are the ones usually who provide uh, lower qualities of drugs. Uh, and uh, fourthly. Uh, Deaths due to HIV and hepatitis C, if they're decreasing, that probably means that there's less uh, 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 injecting drug usage, which involves uh, blood transfer and sharing of those uh, needles and, and stuff like that. So that probably means that harm reduction techniques are going the right way and the war on drugs might be succeeding. So I've, I've, what have I told you? I've told you that the decrease in death rate, uh, the decrease in the death toll might be a good indicator of uh, of the success of the war on drugs, whose, whose definition has uh, transformed over the years. And now it's more about reducing the menace caused due to drugs rather than uh, completely eradicating drugs from the society. Thank you.